I hope that you have been following this playlist from the very beginning. If not, please make sure that you at least watch this first video for an introduction to the poetic details and the methodology we use to study these shlokas. The proper pronunciation of the fourth shloka of Kala Bhairava Ashtakam is as follows. Bhukti Mukti Dayakam Prashasta Charu Vigraham Bhakta Vatsalam Sthitam Samasta Loka Vigraham Nikvanan Manugnya Hema Kinkini Lasat Katim Kashika Puradhinatha Kala Bhairavam Bhaje As we have been seeing in the last three shlokas, the key phrase to understand the meaning of the entire shloka is the Padya Padaha or the recurring foot of the shloka which is Kashikapura Adhinatha Kala Bhairavam Bhaje. This means I worship the main ruler of the city of Kashi, Kala Bhairava. The word clusters that end in the sound am in the rest of the three lines describe Kala Bhairava even further. Let us now look at them one by one. The first of them is Bhukti Mukti Dayakam. The word Bhukti literally means nourishment and sustenance and Mukti literally means liberation from bondage. The compound word Bhukti Mukti Dayakam describes Kala Bhairava as the one who grants Dayakam both sustenance Bhukti and liberation Mukti. The next attribute is Prashasta Charu Vigraham. The word Charu means beautiful and the word Prashasti means reputation or glory. The compound word Prashasta Charu Vigraham describes Kala Bhairava as the one who has a form, Vigraha, which is glorious, Prashasta, and beautiful, Charu. The next attribute that ends in Am is Bhakta Vatsalam. The word Vatsa means a child and Vatsalya is the love one has for a child. This word describes Kala Bhairava as the one who holds his devotees or Bhaktas like his own offspring. The next attribute, Sthitam, who is firmly established. Samasta Loka Vigraham, who is an embodiment of all the worlds. The next attribute, which is mentioned in one big compound word, can be understood thus. Katim, who has around his waist Kati. Lasat, a beautiful. Kinkini, bell. Hema, made of gold. Manugnya, which charms the mind. Nikvanan, by making a jingling sound. The meaning of the entire compound word Nikvanan Manugnya Hema Kinkini Lasat Katim is the one who has a jingling, beautiful, golden bell around his waist that charms the mind, heralding his arrival. With this, we complete the exploration of the individual attributes of Lord Kala Bhairava mentioned in the fourth shloka. Putting all these individual meanings together, the gist of the entire shloka is I worship the main ruler of the city of Kashi, Kala Bhairava, who grants both sustenance and liberation, who has a beautiful and glorious form, who holds his devotees lovingly like his own children, who is firmly established, who is an embodiment of all the worlds, and who has a golden bell around his waist that makes a jingling sound and charms the mind, heralding his arrival. Let us conclude by chanting the fourth shloka together now as we remember the word by word meanings that we have just learned bhukti mukti dayakam prashasta charu vigraham bhakta vatsalam sthitam samasta loka vigraham nikvanan manugnya hema kinkini lasat katim kashika puradhinatha kala bhairavam bhaje i hope that you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful share it across with those whom you think might benefit from this if you wish to support the production of more videos like these, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or make a one-time contribution all through the links in the description below. Also, consider clicking on the subscribe button and the bell icon beside it so that you are immediately notified of our latest updates. See you in the next video. Namaskaram.